Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. I just woke up. We're this podcast. We're doing podcast it. things. Crack it to it. So TNT, the other day we were talking about uh, our hometown, oh, which God. is I, 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 the longer that goes by, the less I like talking about it. Because <laughs> it seems so far away. I mean, it is. We're and about, more, what, more... 17 hours away from it right now. Right? So far away. Yeah. Well, I mean, it hasn't been my hometown since 04. Yeah. So I mean, when was the last time you lived in Ashtabula, Ohio? Jesus, man. I couldn't even tell you. I moved out. Because you moved from Ashville to Cleveland before you went to PA, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I moved out maybe like a year or two after I graduated high school. So probably about the same time I did. Yeah, so around 2000, 2002 is what I'm oh, okay. guessing. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, because even, even that little caveat, I moved to Youngstown for a little bit. Then I came back to Ashville <laughs> for like a year before I before I officially left Ashtabula forever. Honestly, Youngstown ain't much better than Ashtabula, except there's more convenience stores. You know what uh, is better than uh, Ashtabula? What's that? All the people that we know aren't there. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. that I hate all the people that I know, but... Well, congratulations to you. Most of the people that we used to know from Ashtabula are, in de are dead or in jail, so... Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that, I mean, that is sad, dude. It's truth. <laughs> like... Because I guess my point was, at least in when I was in Youngstown, like I could go to the store and would never run into anybody I didn't want to see. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I would just, I mean, unless it was like someone who tried to rob me, which was entirely possible in Youngstown. <laughs> and you know what? And see, I think that is probably one of the things that I like the most about Ashtabula. Is what? Is the fact that I did know everybody. I kind of like the idea of everybody knows your name, you know? Well, I mean, it wasn't. Now, we're putting out a bad image. It is not that small town. It's not like you go to... Yeah. Rite Aid, and you and you know every person in Rite Aid. I used to. I remember for, for like a a little while before I had a, a vehicle, or maybe I was in between vehicles. I think it was before I had a vehicle. So we're going way back in the way back machine. This is before Uber, and I remember I would walk to work, and no matter what, I would always have somebody pick me up. And this happened for like two months straight. Where in Ashtabula? Yeah, where I'd be walking down the street, somebody be like, "Yo." Is that dynamite? Get in the car. Where Is that you when you worked at, at the mall? Yeah. Well, that's because everyone we knew hung out at the mall. So the odds of someone driving to the mall were a thousand to one. I'm just or saying, one to a thousand. I'm just saying is that I batted a thousand for like two months. Every time I'd walk in, it would always be, well, you know, it was always, sometimes it'd be like the same group of people, but it'd always be like a different person. And I was just like, wow, it would always be like some person that I met like for like 20 minutes. They'd be like, hey, come on, I'll give you a ride. I know you're going to the mall. I see you there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like for like two months of, of me walking to work and we're talking about like a two mile walk or something like that three yeah, mile yeah, yeah. walk because everything's like pretty much walking distance in Ashtabula yeah so but let me ask you this if you were walking the other direction do you think you would have the same success <clears throat> uh maybe maybe not I don't know I mean I always got a ride anyway I mean that, that was the beautiful part of it is like I always got a ride. It was like it was like free Uber. <laughs> free Uber. It was like free Uber. Like oh I yeah, said, because they wouldn't even. They would be like, and they would probably like be like, hey, I got a forty in the back. You want to hit on the way to work? And I'm not taking. Look, could you imagine an Ashtabula Uber? We're talking like some small little podunk town with like freaking a bunch of meth addicts and hey, everything. Look, you're making this town seem way smaller than it is. Am I? It is not a two thousand person town. How many people live in there? Like. 25,000 people live 15K. there. 15K. Yeah, like, like you're, I mean, it isn't like you walk into the general store and it's Aunt Lucy and the and Uncle Bob's getting milk and <laughs> your grandma's cousin's in the thing. I like, mean, it ain't that small. Look, what's, what's 15, 20,000 people when 30% of them are just meth heads? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Those, don't, those aren't even, like, real people. Well, yeah, because, like, where my grandma stayed when I had to go take care of her stuff, it was, that is so small. They don't even have Uber out there. They don't. Nothing delivers to like I asked like my cousin like, hey, can we get anything delivered like a pizza, anything at all? And they're like, no, no nothing delivers out there. They have to go pick everything. They That's even insane. said, dude, they have deals with Domino's that they will meet Domino's like anyone in that community can meet Domino's at the corner of two a, a major intersection in a church parking lot to pick up a pizza. Like people, they're like, hey, I live out in out in Pierpont. I'll meet you at the church to pick up my pizza. So they drive halfway. 
they won't deliver the pizza to your house. They won't deliver the pizza to the house, but they'll. But at least the pizza people will go to the edge of their border and meet you in a, at a church. You can't get a pizza delivered. Nope. This, so, so this is that's that's insane. So that's my point. That that's is insane. way more. So yes, in Ashtabula, yeah. like I wouldn't have wanted to take an Uber when I lived there in '04. That was way. That was like the first murder in like 20 years had just happened there. There the like there was drug problems but there was not nearly you weren't having people die of overdoses all the time. No, no, no. no and I wouldn't no. want to take an Uber then. That's because I think it's before fentanyl. Now that fentanyl's out there and people are putting that in everything, so Yeah, yeah. I uh I mean well that yeah, dude, I don't even know. I don't know. I still feel like the drug problem was like a big thing. If I could <laughs> I'm sure the statute of limitations is up on this, but if I could count how many parties I've been to where like people that should not have been there were there doing drugs, man. Uh yeah. I've seen a lot of stuff, my yeah, man. Yeah, dude. I uh and like and I guess like the weird part about it is uh, like 17, those would be the people 16 year olds. Those would be the people driving Ubers. <laughs> what 17? The people 16? that shouldn't have been there at the parties. <laughs> Or the person looking to rob you for whatever you were taking to the party. <laughs> you show up, they just like beat you up and leave you out the front, outside the front door, take yeah. all your I juice. Mean, look, there, there's a, there's definitely been an influx of people attacking Uber drivers. I'm saying an Ashtabula. Has there really been? Absolutely. An Ashtabula Uber driver, you're more likely to get attacked by them. <laughs> Yeah, they they stage a robbery. Like you pull up to a stoplight, and they got like a friend that comes up and robs both of you, quote unquote. Exactly. Oh man, that was awful! Can't believe that crackhead robbed us. And then they like <laughs> let you out, and then they go like take got your wallet, and they go buy yeah. Twinkies at the sheets. Dude, they pull up in their Toyota Windstar van with the windows blacked out. Oh, oh man, I'm not doing that. No, dude. Well, and there's no uh, there's no inspections up there. So like, <laughs> so like, as long as the car runs, you can get a plate for it. <laughs> yeah, the car. The car the like car the whole panel's rusted out on the one side. There's not a seat. Fam, if I take a Uber and the car breaks down halfway through a trip, <laughs> and the dude asks me to help push, that is what would happen. I'm leaving him a bad review. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, you're have getting you, a bad uh, review. And, and I know, like. We talked about this the other day, I guess, about feeling unsafe. But have you ever taken an Uber and felt unsafe? No. Honestly, no. No. Have you? You, you have I have. I'm not, not unsafe because of the driver's personality or whatever. I had a lady one time pick me and my ex-wife up for uh, – we were going to, like, a festival or something. And she was really, like, weird. <laughs> And like was talking really weird, and like and and like she drove okay, but like I question like is this lady like on something right now? Like yeah. she was just being weird enough that I felt a little unsafe. Like, yeah, is she like mentally unstable? Is she high? Is she like if yeah, there was yeah, something yeah, yeah. about her? And then there, I think there's been one other time where a guy just wasn't like. He wasn't the best driver, but I didn't like necessarily feel unsafe, but like it was just a little too like Yeah, like I've seen I've definitely been in cars where an Uber drivers drive a little bit faster on the freeway or they switch lanes a little too much and I'm usually like, well, like you know Ricky me. Bobby. I'm already in the car now, so it's not <laughs> Right, yet. we didn't have you drop you off on the side of the freeway. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so I, I guess that that has happened. Are are you more apt to give a an Uber driver a better rating if they're talkative or if they're not? Um because me myself, well, don't, I know you don't hate talk talking to, me. to people. Don't don't talk to me. Well, and that's a really interesting thing because I'm normally the chatty guy. I know that. And but but I, this is gonna sound so hypocritical. I don't want you to chat with me. I want to be able to <laughs> chat with you. <laughs> like I don't want you to ask me yeah, a goddamn yeah, question yeah, if yeah. I don't want to talk and want to get on my phone and look at Reddit yeah. the whole way. That's what I want to do. I want you. I want to initiate the conversation yes. if I feel like talking. And I feel like that's a great rule of thumb. It As is. the driver, yeah, you you let them talk to you. Like yeah. some people, like you said, like you like would be more apt to give them a bad rating if I chatted your damn head off the whole yeah. time and you didn't want to talk. Yeah. Um, the other thing I don't like about Uber drivers is when you get in and they're listening to their music and it's really goddamn loud. And <laughs> loud, you're, loud music and, is and a And I'm problem. just like, I don't mind if you have music on, but like you're jamming out, like you're by yourself going down the freeway. Me and homeboy are in the backseat trying to talk. <laughs> and, you're, and it's like the most... 
Look, you never know how loud that music is in the back seat to your back. There. Those six by nines are loud, yo. <laughs> I just remember being like in, in high school and you would have yeah. like a boatload of people in your car. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. would think you'd be driving, think the car wasn't loud at all. And people in the back are like, this is loud as hell. And you're like, shut up. No, it isn't. And you got to like adjust the fader to make like the back of the car not as, as loud. So I don't know. If you're ever in Ashtabula, don't take an Uber. Definitely not. Don't go there. And don't accept candy if, from strangers. If you do, go get sheets though. Yes. And don't go check out the mall. Ooh, it's real good. Ashtabula Mall. There's an urgent it, care in there now. It is not. In case you got a heart attack from all the money you spent. That mall is not still standing. <laughs> Maybe not. Anyways, go to thecrazytown.com. That is all the time we have for today. Uh, for Jonas. Tanda. Oh yeah.